Who is your favorite hero in the Bible? I believe David is a popular choice among the boys. Am I right? David killing Goliath was my favorite childhood story. Even until today, the different stages of David's life have inspired me. Of course, David cannot compare to Jesus Christ. Jesus is perfect, but David was not. However, the Bible called David as a man after God's heart. What does it mean? It means he follows the heart of God. What God likes, he likes. What God dislikes, he dislikes. How is the story of David started? In the book of Samuel, after King Saul fell to follow God's way, fell to please God, God rejected Saul as the king. So, God chose David to be the next king to replace him. David had seven brothers and David was the youngest. When the prophet Samuel anointed David as the king, he was just a boy. A boy who worked for his father to look after the sheep. How could a shepherd boy become a king who look after the whole nation? Students, God look at our heart more than our status, our position, our muscle, our body size, or our age. He look at our heart. David has many good characters that make him a king. Today, I just want you to learn just one of the characters of David. Before David became a king, he was a faithful shepherd. He took good care of his sheep. He was willing to die for his sheep by fighting the bears and the lions. When David offered himself to fight Goliath, the giant, he had an interesting conversation with King Saul. King Saul replied, You are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man. And he has been a warrior from his youth. But David said to Saul, Your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, I went after it, struck it, and rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by its hair, struck, struck it, and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. Students and supervisor, I want you to listen and take this to your heart. Luke 16 verse 12 if you are faithful in little things, you will be faithful in large ones. But if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. Before God made you great or entrust you a more fantastic job, He first give you small jobs to test your faithfulness. If God is satisfied with all the small jobs you did, He will give you more fantastic jobs. If God is not happy with your job, you will have to redo it over and over again. David started as a shepherd, then a soldier, then a captain, then a commander, and lastly, a king. He took 
one step at a time, but he gave and did his very best in every step. Just like you, must first pass your checkups, then self-test and pace test. Our life is the same. If you want to be a man after God's heart, like David, follow this. Be faithful in the little things. From making your bed, brushing your teeth, cleaning your desk, to completing your paces. Start now. Start young. Give your best, even nobody sees you or check on you. Remember, God sees you. God will make you great if you are faithful to Him in little things. Though we don't know how long this COVID-19 pandemic will last, let's focus on living the best every day for God. Learn to fight the bears and the lions in your life first. Sometimes math like algebra, literature, memorizing the Bible, memory passage, are like fighting a lion and making bed, sleep early and wake up early could be like fighting a bear. As for the supervisor, getting you to work on your paces are like fighting bears and lions. Do you know that? If you are able to kill the lions and the bears in your life daily, and when the pandemic is over, you are ready to slaughter the giant Goliath in your life. Let us pray. Lord, help us be like David, a man after your own heart. Help us to like what you like and stay away from what you hate. Help us to be faithful in little things. Help us to give our best in everything we do. And give us the strength to fight the lions and bears in our life so that we may slaughter the giant one day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Students, the year 2021 will be ended in four months' time. You are in the final school term now. I would want you to focus on completing this year well. If you didn't do well in the past three terms, you have one last term to catch up, which is term four, this term. And by the end of this term, there will be an annual awards night. We will reward those who work hard. The trophies that we will give away are scripture memory, and then academic achievement, Progress Award, Supervisors Award, Outstanding Godly Character Awards, and lastly, the Principal Awards. And this award is for the senior student only. So student, work hard, set your goal, and focus on your goal, and complete your goal every day. Be faithful in the little things. Give your best in the little things. See you and may God bless you.